Hi, Bio here. In this video, I'd like to demonstrate the recent HT Mode 7 functionality that was implemented into BSNES. So the origin of this feature is that recently I had forked my Higon multi-system emulator to the original BSNES core, which only focused on SNES emulation. The goal of this port was to focus on performance, ease of use, and features. And the way to obtain the performance was an idea I had that instead of rendering one scan line at a time as traditional emulators do, I would emulate the entire screen at one time by caching every scan line in advance, and then once the frame had ended, the CPU would split the task among all of your CPU cores. This could be done without adding any input lag into the game, but it results in a higher frame rate. So Derkun came along with the idea that we could apply this to HD Mode 7 by having the state of the entire frame we could analyze it to understand how to upscale the graphics to HD formats. So mode 7 on the SNES is what you're seeing now. It's an affine transformation, which is to say it performs scaling and rotation, which creates a pseudo 3D effect on the SNES. But by default, the SNES resolution is only 256 by 240 pixels, which is not very much, and so the effect is very blocky. By applying HD mode 7, we can take advantage of the fact that the underlying texture for mode 7 graphics is actually 1024 by 1024. The reason it's higher like that is so that you can be zoomed out or zoomed in as you're getting closer to the ground, for instance, in this game. So I will start off with demonstrating the original 240p graphics, which is the way the SNES would originally look. Of course, on a CRT, it would be slightly blurrier. So what you'll notice is, for instance, on the tracks, the lines are very jagged, very pixelated. But once we turn on HD Mode 7, we increase the resolution from 240 to 480, and you see things become much sharper. We can keep doing this to 720, 960. We can even go beyond the original 1024 by 1024 and step it all the way up to 2160p, which is 4K resolution, and things become very sharp at this point. And you can see as I adjust it in real time, it makes quite a difference on the track. The anti-aliasing is phenomenal. We also have a mode where we can apply super sampling. What super sampling does is it renders the resolution of the screen at 4K, and then it downsamples the pixels back to the original 256 by 240. The reason you'd want to do that is so that the pixel sizes match the sprites. So if you notice on this pause screen, the background is 4K resolution, but the sprites are still 256 by 240, so it looks a little out of place. If you turn on super sampling, it will allow the anti-aliasing effects to still work correctly, as you can see on the tracks. But the pixel ratio between the sprites and the backgrounds is now consistent, which gives it a more authentic look to how a real SNES might work. Whereas if we turn this back off, you see that the track becomes very pixelated once again. And as we turn the resolution up with super sampling, the road becomes much sharper. This effect works in several games. Another game that it works very well with is The Legend of Zelda. And here you have an overview of the world map. So if you see on the bottom left and bottom right corner of the screen, the mountain ridges are very jagged. As we turn up the HD mode 7 functionality, it becomes much sharper. And this is with super sampling. If we turn off the super sampling, it becomes even sharper still, and the jaggedness almost goes away, but not quite. And the last game that I will demonstrate will be Dragon Quest 3, which I personally feel is the most impressive demonstration of this functionality. So in Dragon Quest 3 there is this bird that allows you to fly up ahead and it will zoom out the world map. As you can see it becomes quite pixelated and quite shaky by default, but as we increase the resolution with HD Mode 7 it becomes incredibly sharp and incredibly smooth and the difference is just phenomenal. There's not even a comparison between the two. All the details such as on the castle, on the trees, on the mountains, everything becomes crystal clear. 
And of course you can apply super sampling to this mode as well, but personally for this game, there's no contest. Super sampling off just looks stunning. It looks like a modern remake of the game. So to demonstrate the features now, if you go into settings enhancements, you will see the scale feature, which is what I was adjusting between 240 and 1920p and the super sampling option. There's also two more options to this, which is perspective correction and HDSD mosaic. So HDSD mosaic is, there is a functionality on the SNES that will pixelate the entire screen, but if you've rendered it at a higher resolution, pixelating it no longer makes sense. So if you have this option checked, it will still pixelate the screen as it would on the real SNES, but the picture quality will drop back to how it looks on the original SNES during these pixelated moments. You can disable this so that the HD mode 7 effect is always there, but you will lose the mosaic effect. There's also perspective correction. So the way this functionality works is when you have the 240 scan lines, the vertical scan lines for the SNES, each line is given a coordinate for where to transform the affine texture to place it on the screen, but because there's only 240 lines, the points between them don't have to have a lot of floating point precision. And so when you upscale that to 4K resolution, suddenly there's a lot of rounding errors, and so the screen will look very jagged. So let me demonstrate this with The Legend of Zelda. That's a good example game. So I will have perspective correction on first. And you can see on the bottom left, it's very sharp and detailed. And now if I turn off the perspective correction, it is much choppier and blockier. So what perspective correction does is it interpolates between the 240 lines. It tries to analyze the frame and understand that this is just one picture. So if it knows the top coordinates and the bottom coordinates of the screen, it can interpolate between the two for all 1080 lines or 1920 lines or whatever resolution you use to create a much sharper image. Now there's another functionality that's new to the most recent releases of VSNES that just came out within the past month where this setting is automatically detected. So there are some games that will use special effects with HD Mode 7 such as warping the screen or mirroring the screen twice and so if you were to interpolate from the top to the bottom of the screen in those cases, it would damage the effect. So with the new BSNES releases, the screen is analyzed and it detects segments of the HD Mode 7 screen so that it applies the perspective correction only to where it's needed. So out of the box with the latest BSNES releases, you should pretty much always have this on. There should be no cases where you would want it off. The feature is mostly only there in case there are any problematic games that we're not aware of. And I believe that's it for demonstrating the feature. So you can get this with the latest BSNES release, which you can download at bsnes.bu.org. And that should be it. So thank you for watching the video. If you like it, please like and subscribe. Thank you. Have a good day.